Hi guys, it's Miss Maya from the Green Free Library here to share another story time with you. Today is World Ocean Day and we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. First, I want to welcome everyone who's watching and sing hi to our friends, new and old. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Hi to Anna and Peter and Andrew and Kate, Quinn and Suri and Stanley and Henry, Lydia and Parker and Ava and Veda and Ella and Charlie and Robert and Ella and Carolyn and Kinsley and me. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <laughs> Good job, guys. Let's sit down. Show me those hands. Wiggle those fingers. Open them. Shut them. Open them. Shut them. Give a little clap. Open them. Shut them. Open them. Shut them. Lay them in your lap. Very good. So who remembers the name of our month? Starts with the letter J. <laughs> Shout it out. June. Very good. Let's get our board and spell those letters. Ready? J U N E June. Super. So today is what day of the week? Wednesday, right? We better get our calendar, our turtle calendar. So it's Wednesday, June 8th. So we need to get some uh, markers on our turtle here on which days? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. I'll get my glue stick. Get that right on there. Seven days, right? We have to mark seven. Seven days in a week. Mm-hmm. And we have these little markers to put on our turtle's shell and cover these days. There he is. All right. See if I can not drop anything this week. Ready? Help me out. Here we go. Two. Three. <laughs> four. Ready? More. <laughs> Five. Well, these two are sticking together. Six. There we got them apart. Seven. And one more. Eight. Our turtle calendar is coming along. Put that right over there. As I mentioned, today is World Ocean Day and it's about celebrating and honoring the oceans on our planet. Last week we talked about the importance of water to planets, animals, and people and what makes up the oceans. Water, right. Now, I've got a globe here. Did you notice it? <coughs> this is a representation of our world, our planet. Do you see all the blue? All the blue are the oceans and, and the waters and the seas. Our planet is mostly made up of water. Look at all that water. Yeah. There's a lot of it, isn't it? Okay, there absolutely is. A lot of animals live in the ocean and it's up to us to help take care of it and to keep it clean. And World Ocean Day is to remind us of that. So if you go to worldoceanday.org, you can learn more about it. And they also have activities and free coloring pages for children that you can download. Last time we learned a, potter, a, a poem about water. Do you remember it? I've got our little picture here. Let's say it together. Water for the flower, water for the tree, 
Water for the birds and water for the bee. Water for the rivers and water for the sea and water for the world and water for me. Yeah. That's right, because everybody and everything needs water. Uh, today's books have to do with seas and oceans. And this one, 1001 Things to Spot in the Sea, is written by Katie Danes and illustrated by Anna Milborn. And this book will keep you busy as you try to find, find, and count all the things uh, pertaining to the oceans and water, all right, and all the pages. And then we also have Ocean Meets Sky, which illustrated and written by the Fan Brothers. And in this story, a little boy is missing his grandfather who used to tell him stories about all these magical places. And so he decides to build a ship and sail to see these places. And lastly, I have the Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean, which was written by Deborah Deason with pictures by Dan Hanna. All right. And in this story, the Pout Pout Fish and his friends realize they have made a mess in the ocean and they set about to clean it up. And if you like this book, we have a whole series of books featuring the Pout Pout Fish. So I'll take all those stories back to the library and they'll be ready for you to borrow in a few days. Uh, how about a song <clears> that <throat> has to do with the sea? Uh, do you know there's a hole in the bottom of the sea? <laughs> all right. If so, you can sing along. <clears throat> I haven't done this song in a long time, but we're going to try it. All right. So here's the sea. <laughs> and let me get my parts here. Okay. Let me get this ready here, okay? There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a log. There's a log. There's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a branch on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a branch on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a branch. There's a branch. There's a branch on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Yeah, what do you think's on that branch? <clears throat> There's a bump on the branch on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a bump on the branch on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a bump. There's a bump. There's a bump on the branch on the hole in the... <laughs> I messed it up already. <laughs> There's a bump on the branch on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, this is a tricky one. <clears throat> Let's try again. Okay. There's a frog on the bump on the branch on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a frog, there's a frog. There's a frog on the bump on the branch on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. All right, that was a little better. <laughs> you see that little speck? Yeah. <laughs> There's a speck on the frog, on the bump, on the log, on the branch, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. There's a speck on the frog, on the bump, on the branch, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. There's a speck, there's a speck. There's a speck on the frog, on the branch, on, on the bump, on the branch, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. This is a tough one today. <laughs> All right, there's one more thing that's on that speck. There's a flea. Can you believe it? <laughs> there's a flea on the speck, on the frog, on the bump, 
on the branch, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. There's a flea on the speck, on the frog, on the bump, on the branch, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. There's a speck, a flea, there's a flea. There's a flea on the speck, on the frog, on the bump, on the branch, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. In the hole, on the bottom of the sea. <laughs> I guess I need to practice that. <laughs> it's a fun one anyway to try and remember all those parts. Phew, I need to rest now. Okay, so for our art project today, we're going to create an under the sea scene and we're going to once again use a paper plate. Paper plates sure are handy for our projects, aren't they? <laughs> you also need some paint, something to color with, scissors, glue, uh, and the activity sheet from the Green Free Library website. So take your paper plate, just a regular paper plate, and you want to color the top two-thirds of it blue for the water in the ocean, and you want to color the bottom third brown for the bottom of the ocean. Now, I used watercolors, which was a little different, but it was fun and uh, I thought it looked pretty good. Yeah, it worked well. Now, if you don't have watercolors, that's fine. You can use another kind of washable paint or markers, uh, whatever you have, okay? So just get your plate colored and then put that aside. And while it's drying, have an adult help you to uh, print and cut out the animals from the activity sheet, all right? And color those, whatever color you want. There's different things. Uh, there's an octopus, and a dolphin, and a whale, and an angelfish, and a seahorse, and a starfish, and some seaweed, okay? So whatever color you think, make them that be that. And then you want to glue them on your paper plate, wherever you think they should go. Uh, I put the starfish and the seaweed down on the ground and then I had the other animals swimming and I put the dolphin kind of near the top because they swim near the top of the ocean a lot of times. But whatever you think, okay? And <laughs> there we have our under the sea scene on a paper plate. <laughs> So registration has opened for the Summer Library Reading Program. Uh, you can sign up at the library or go to greenfreewellsboro.readsquared.com. <laughs> Our kickoff program will be June 22nd at 10 a.m. on the library front lawn. And I'll be there. <laughs> and I hope you'll be there too. Uh, that's all I have for today, guys. I'm tired out from all that singing. I have to go practice that song. <laughs> Anyway, you take care and thanks for watching and I will see you next time, maybe in the library. Bye.